Yes, guys, I have indeed reached 5,000 subs, which I do think is pretty crazy, because I didn't even have 1,000 this time last year. I don't think I was even close to it. But yeah, I said I'd do a Q&A when we've got 5,000 subs, and I'll also do a Garden Warfare 2 characters tier list. That will be coming soon after this video. But first, let's answer all the questions that you have sent me. What are your main goals when you first started YouTube? Honestly, I don't really know. I think my mom just suggested that I made one because I used to like make all these videos on my computer, make top 10 lists of my old home videos. Yeah, I think I used Windows Movie Maker to edit them. I think that's how my editing skills kind of came about. I don't really know what my goals were, to be fair. I think it was more of an entertainment thing with my mates at secondary school. I was in year 10 at the time. That pretty much got me a little bit more popular there. And then, of course, I kind of died down when I went to college and stuff, until, of course, Plant vs. Zombies videos got kind of revived my popularity a bit, and that obviously got me to 5,000 subs now. And, of course, I'm now getting paid for my videos, so that's nice. Do you like the new plants in Plant vs. Zombies 2, like Gloomvine and Crocus Pocus? Gloomvine, obviously, I am a fan of. I did a video on that. Crocus Pocus, it seems like a better version of, um, what's the guy called in, um, Time Warp, that's him from Neon Mixtape Tour. But he sounds alright. What is your favourite food? KFC. What do you do for a living? I think I spoke about this in a couple of my vlogs, but no one watches those, so... Yeah, I basically work at a theme park. It's seasonal. I'm not doing it right now, but it starts in, like, three weeks or something. So, yeah, videos will probably be coming out a bit less around that time, but I'll try and do what I can. What's better, Cattail or Homing Thistle? Obviously, I've got to give the edge to Homing Thistle here because of the fact you can use them anywhere rather than just on the water. I mean, both are still good plants, but I do think Homing Thistle has a slight edge. Sorry, Lord Shikihara. You know, I made that joke like 20 times now because it's her favourite plant in the game. What is your favourite PVZ plant? I'll still stand by this Cherry Bomb because he's just the best. In terms of Garden Warfare 2, what rank player are you hoping to get? Oh yeah, I'm trying to get 41st. I don't know why 41st is like the goal for everyone. I think it's because that was Wolfie's goal because he was stuck on 41 for Agent Garden Warfare 1 and eventually got on GW2. I don't know. I'm on 31 right now. I just got the orange plate a couple of days ago. I don't really want to get max rank, then I have to play characters that I don't like. I think I would like to get to the red one eventually, so I guess I'll go for you first as well. Got two questions from this guy. Oh, that Tiberius Toaster. If there would be any variant for class in a PvD shooter that you want to be made, what would it be? Um, they should have a legend over for them, really. They could have, like, Basketball Star, a Bounty Hunter for Soldier, um, a Peapod. They could have some more from, like, Palm Zombies 2. What else could you get? What a sunflower variant you get? It could get like a primal sunflower kind of thing that I guess does more damage with fire slower and that has a leisure meter. Also, do you collect PVZ plush? No, I was actually going to get my little brother some thing for his birthday, but it kind of came too late. All the delivery dates were uh, well after his birthday. I hope he doesn't see this now because he's going to be well mad. Why do you love Cherry Bomb? Have you seen the Cherry Bomb? Takes out an entire 3x3 area. In all seriousness, I remember like scrolling along the almanac and finding like all the plants that I could get in Pirate Seas. Cherry Bomb caught my attention straight away because I saw its damage said massive. I completely missed that. I said that for the potato mine as well. And when I tried him out on that one level that like, gives you him as a mandatory plant, I thought he was so sick. So I'd just play that level quite a bit just to use him really until I finally got him. But that was well hard at the time. Alright, three questions. When you start playing PvZ, GW1, GW2, do you think BFN should release February, not September, because there's lots of bugs and glitches? Are you from the UK? Yes, I am from the UK. I know a lot of people think I'm Australian. I think I mentioned this in my last Q&A as well, so I don't know why I'm repeating myself. Garden Warfare 1, I started playing, like, I think December 2018. I got it for Christmas. Basically, we decided we all wanted an Xbox. And then... I suggest we get WWE 2K19. Yeah, my little brother said he wanted to go on Warfare 1, but then like, I became the main player with it. He didn't start playing until, like, July last year. And, yeah, after going on Warfare 2, I got that in August 2019. I thought it was a lot newer than it actually was, so... Oh, yeah, I do kind of wish I'd started playing them before, given that a lot of the good stuff has gone now, and you can't play some of the other game modes in Garden Warfare 1. But yeah, it's still definitely playable if you want to start now. And about the old BFN one, honestly I've never really been interested in BFN. Mostly because it came out just a couple of months after I started getting into Garden Warfare 2, so I didn't want to change the game immediately. A lot of people seem to dislike it. The fact you don't get variants holds it back quite a bit. As for the bugs and glitches, I'm really not sure. Now it's out on Switch, but honestly that doesn't really pique my interest at all. Because I don't think they've been still updating it. And I watched Wolfie's video like yesterday at the time of recording this. And apparently Team Vanquish is even a permanent game mode in that. So yeah. Also I don't have a Switch. What's your favourite non-PVZ game? I did mention WWE 2K19. I played that like religiously when I first got it. Now I don't really play it much at all. Others I play like... I do still play Wii Sports and Wii Sports as well quite a lot. I do have a Wii still. I play that quite a bit. Super Smash Bros. Brawl I got into well later than I should have done. But yeah, I do play that sometimes. And yeah, I got Team Sonic Racing for Christmas as well. I'm not like being super into it, but it's quite a decent game. I should like play it more and try and complete the old story thing, really. 
Yeah, it's hard to say right now because I don't really play that much other than Plant vs. Zombies games. But I did mention those Wii ones, so yeah, that's something. Yeah, I'm really not that much of a gamer, but I'm kind of looking for something else to play, to be honest. Xbox One only, so if you've got any suggestions, go for it. Sorry this is too many questions. It isn't. How old are you? 20. What PVZ2 plant would you bang the most? Hot date. What is your favourite zombie in any game? I mean, I've got people want to go on a warfare ones. I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned who my favourite character in the whole game is. It's Painter, honestly. It would have been Chemist, but I find him he's really annoying to face. He's really overused, really cheesy. I feel like Painter's kind of a hidden gem. People don't realise how good he is. He pretty much became my favourite engineer instantly upon unlocking him and going on warfare one. What is your favourite PVZ zombie design-wise and all my story? The latter one has got to be Wild West Gargantua. He likes candy, you know. As for design-wise, that's a bit harder, I think. It might be more of the Neon Mixtape Tour ones, I'd probably be out of those. I'm much sure I hate facing them, I think hair metal going anxious content. I've never really thought about the best designed one, to be honest. Besides PVZ, what's my favourite pop cow game? I've actually been playing the game Insane Aquarium Deluxe quite a lot lately, even though the game is super old and its resolution is well crap on my computer because of the age gap. <laughs> age gap? Yeah, that's quite a good game. I remember I used to play that when I was like younger. I think I first got a Windows Vista computer, I had loads of these games preloaded on it. Yeah, Insane Aquarium Deluxe was one. I think also Peggle was one, which is also a pop cap game. Yeah, you can only like play them once or twice, then you have to pay to play them, but I found a free version of Deluxe in San Aquarium, I think that might be illegal. Peggle, I think I played, there was another one, I think it's called Peggle Blast, I played my phone for a bit, but I couldn't get past one level, so got rid of the game like fairly soon after. Will you make a second channel about music? Too bad, this was kind of the default channel for music. PVZ was only a secondary thing for age until last year I made it my main kind of content. I say secondary, I went years without uploading anything on... Plant vs Zombies. Yeah, the main purpose was for music, but no one really cared about those. The answer to this question is no, just because I can never really function with two channels at once. I have tried that before, but it never really worked. And yeah, music content will probably be restricted to just like end of year stuff kind of thing. I think I will do that old Spotify React thing again. I thought that was quite fun. And also the worst songs of the year, but that is like two at the end of the year and then like none for the rest of it. And we'll see how things go, but obviously I'll be focused on Plant vs Zombies. If there's Gun Warfare 3, what do you want to have? Also, how's your new Gun Warfare account been going? A lot of people think this is going to be a thing, but a lot of people think no way after the big flop of BFN. I mean, it's hard to say anything that Gun Warfare 2 struggles on, really. I've already gone through some characters that I think would be pretty cool. Oh no, I know what they should have, actually. It makes all survivors in it and a permanent playable game mode. They should do that for Gun Warfare 2 instead of Rando's Rampant Rabbit 5000. So as for now, I'm new Gun Warfare 1 account going, it's been fine. I've not really had the desire to play it that much because a lot of you are dead. A lot of toxic max ranks I'm running into all the time, especially on that Port Scallywag map. That used to be one of my favourite maps, but the whole cliff camping spot is really ruining it for me. But it's not bad, I got a chemist off, like, you know, a bunch of skip challenge stars and all that. I'm one piece away from painter as well, so that's good. Are there any bad songs to put on your top 10 worst songs of the 2021 list? Yeah, I'll still keep on making these lists. I do really enjoy making them, I probably won't make this seem like a big dramatic thing this year. Just like, keep them all low-key. But as for so far, I've not really been keeping up with music lately. Yeah, it's like when it gets to the year-end list, I'm like, listen to music a lot to see things I can put on there, but after that, not really. I do have like two or three that I can think of though. I hate to say this because I really like them, but Imagine Dragons released a couple of new songs about a week ago. One of them called Cutthroat is really awful. I'm pretty sure that's going to go on the list. Also, I've been watching a couple of like YouTubes do these videos of like reacting to the top 10 Spotify songs, which just could just give me some ideas. Apparently there's Cardi B songs, Chris Brown songs as well, don't even know how he's still having hits to be honest, but we'll move on from that. What's your opinion on the name Greg? <laughs> well, you just won the award for the most random question I've received on these so far. I mean, it's all my name, kind of boring. When I hear the name Greg, I think of two things. Greg Heffley from Diver Wimpkid and the British bakery chain Greg's. So I guess it's got some positives. I'm guessing this guy's name is Greg then. Hi Greg. Dreskull Gaming, do you have a girlfriend? No, why else do you think I play PvZ? Opinion on Star Wars. I'm not a really big film person, to be honest. Star Wars I've never watched. Didn't sound that bad, though. I know, I know a few of the catchphrases. Good question, that is. Cabbage pole to pea shooter. I'll give pea shooter the edge because of his plant food, mainly. If we're talking about PvZ1, I'll probably still give the edge to pea shooter. What is a video that you like the most? I take it this guy's referring to, like, video I made that I like the most, I'm the most proud of. I'm more mention the worst songs list. I do think, like, last few at least have been some of my best ones. I wouldn't even bother watching any of them for 2017, those are well cringe. I'm pretty sure I did a reaction to one of them, so, yeah. That's a lot more recent videos. I think my abilities tier list was quite good. I guess all the ranked videos. Well, especially the ones since I got this mic, because before the audio was really crap. What is your favourite song from PVZ? Might be either Grass Walk, Moon Grains, Water Graves, or Zen Garden. What was my favourite song? Have you heard my outro? 
But besides that, and other Neil Mixtape Tour ones, I'd say probably the Wild West ones generally, especially um, the main and demonstration minigame ones. I think for Ultimate Battle, I prefer the Ancient Egypt one. I've always preferred the song from the second game, but the first game has some pretty good ones too. What is your ranking for every PvZ game? This is actually pretty difficult, and I'm pretty sure this is going to make some people mad. Out of the four I've played, which is 1, 2, Garden Warfare 1 and Garden Warfare 2, I think I'd probably put 1 at the bottom, just because I never really have a desire to play it that much. I feel like that is a game where once you've completed it, you've done it, even when you're in Adventure 2. But while PvZ 2 at least has arena and pinyard parties and stuff, I think Garden Warfare 1 would come in third place. It's kind of a toss-up with the last two. I think Plant vs Zombies 2 I've been into much longer. I think it's got more of a legacy, so I think generally deserve the number one spot, but I do much prefer playing Garden Warfare 2 nowadays. Actually, I probably will give Garden Warfare 2 the edge overall, given that you don't really have microtransactions in that like you do with Plant vs Zombies 2. Sure, with the shooters, you get like Z7 and Twilight Chomp, I guess now, who's like premium only, but... At least that's not like a whole bunch of plants like on the second tower defense game. Oh, and final question comes from my brother. Oh, okay, he's gonna watch this then. So first, least favorite character playing Gun Warfare 2. I think I'd have to say Camo Cat because I do think Electro Switch is the worst character, but Camo Cat I've never been a fan of snipers. I do like some characters. I'll play Future, Jade, Fire. I like Zen and Petrified as well, but I'm not a big fan of them. I think they are a little bit overrated. But yeah, Camo is by far my least favorite character and probably least favorite character in the game. Guess Yeti Chomper as well. But we'll get to that on my tier list, which I'm pretty sure I just spoiled. Favourite legendary jingle in Gun Warfare 2? I think my favourite, well, I'd still have to go for the outro one, of course. There are other good ones, like Scale I Game, Computer Scientist, quite a few good ones. And least favourite, I'd probably put Party Man in here. Maybe I'm biased just because that one's not a Neon Mixtape tour jam, but I always thought that was just the worst legend of Scallywags. And that's it, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for the views. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for everyone who posted a question here. I'm Gold Ninja Vlogspot. See you soon and please check out my Garden Warfare 2 tier list when it drops. Which PVZ plant will you bang the most? Hot date. <laughs> I need to not laughing, don't I?